I'm gonna go over changing humidity on your AirSense 11. A lot of this applies to the AirSense 10 too. So a lot of people will have asked, you know, hey, how do I change my humidity? Can I change my humidity? And the answer is yes. Um, so in the AirSense 11, if you go into the My Options menu, and if you see the, the menus, you can kind of see where this is, but you're gonna have an option to go over, um, you'll notice on here there's climate control, and sometimes you have to slide it up and down. Now the climate control has two options. You've got climate control, auto and manual. The advantage of auto is it's gonna keep condensation out of your tubing. Um, so basically what auto does is it senses the room temperature and it's shooting for about 85% uh, relative humidity. If you have auto um, on your tube, that's about 81 degrees is, is kind of the way that's set. But if you're having a lot of condensation, they also call it rain out, one of the best things to do is set those both to auto and just kind of let the machine do it if you're not getting dry. If you are getting dry, manual might be the best way to go because manual gives you a little bit more humidity. It gives you more flexibility in your humidity. So I'm gonna set this to manual because we, we kind of saw what, what auto looks like. You've got, um, you've got your climate control and then you've got your tube temperature and you can set the tube temperature in auto to the temperature that you want and it's gonna be 85% relative humidity at that tube temperature. And so the warmer the tube temperature is, the more humidity you have. But when we set this to manual, you now have two options that you can change. So you'll notice below them, there's tube temperature and humidity level. So essentially what humidity level is, how hot this heating plate gets on the side. The hotter that gets, the faster the evaporation rate. So the more humidity you're, you're breathing in, but you don't have that condensation protection like you do in the auto. So it's a little tricky to get that dialed in. Me personally, I prefer the manual because I can have greater humidity at cooler temperatures and it's just a little bit more comfortable that way because um, I have a lot of sinus issues. Uh, but you can see on your humidity level, it's anywhere from a one to an eight and you just touch the number that you want. Um, I'm on a six at home and then just hit okay. Now that humidity level is again, zero to eight. Um, so it's it's a little bit higher than just your, your base uh, standard coming from the manufacturer there. But you also want to adjust that tube temperature. So if you're getting water and droplets in the tubing, you wanna increase the tube temperature to, so you don't get that. So if you're getting, or increase your room temperature is the other option. So essentially what's happening is the tube temperature can't keep up with the room temperature and you're hitting dew point and water's condensing in there. So if you increase that tube temperature, um, you're, gonna, you're more likely to not have the condensation, your mask and the tubing. The other thing is, is if you sleep with the window open in winter and your room is 50 degrees, you're probably gonna have to both have them both set to auto. But if you do wanna do, get a little bit more humidity, so you can go up to 80 and that's keeping, um, that's keeping uh, that tube warmer. So you're getting less opportunity to have uh, condensation in there. Usually what I'll tell people is if you're getting dry and you've got this set, increase your, your humidity level, but then also increase your tube temperature by either two or four degrees. Um, because your, your tube temperature will only go up by two degrees on the AirSense 11. AirSense 10 is a little bit different. You can go up by one, but do two to four degrees. Uh, if you do go from, let's say, a six to a seven, increase your tube temperature also because it'll need to be warmer um, to keep the condensation out of there. It does give you a lot more flexibility in your humidity.